Hi everybody, this is uh, worksheet number 15, CP Algebra 1, Chapter 3, uh, graphing more absolute values. Okay, so problem number one, it's going to start at 0, 0, and we're going to go right one up 2, left one up 2. The reason it's 2 because we have a 2 out in front, so it's stretching it. And so our domain will go from negative to positive infinity. Our range will go from 0 to infinity, including that. Number three, still it's going to happen at zero, zero, but it's going to go right one up five because there's a five out front, left one up five. So it's kind of a skinny absolute value graph. Domain still remains negative to positive infinity, and range goes from square bracket zero to infinity. Number five is going to start shifted up three because of that plus three. It's gonna go right one from that point and up two. Left one up two, and this reason is two because there's two out front. Our domain will go from negative to positive infinity, and our range will go from uh, the three, including it, so a square bracket, to infinity. Number seven, we're trying to go from this graph to this graph, so what was our k value? Our k value has to be equal to three because it shifted up three. Number nine, we want to write the absolute value graph with a vertical translation up four. So our, our new graph is going to be g at x is equal to absolute value of x. And then we're going to have a plus four outside of it because we moved up. If we move right or left, that four would be inside the absolute value. That's it. 